Rated M for Mature. Deceit. Fraud is the moment in the poem where Dante really starts to get pretty twisted. This really is all about the lowest of the low in this dark, dank, horrific place. You're being haunted by the forces of hell here. There's flying guys get on the ground. It gets pretty brutal. Just wave after wave of enemy. You can't run away from the combat here in Fraud. You have to fight these guys right here, right now. Fraud is where the liars all go. falsifiers, evil counselors, the panderers and the seducers, they're the sowers of discontent, thieves, grafters, the politicians, ah, we kept everybody. In the text he calls it the malabolge, which translated means evil pouches. The malabolge are these pockets. Each one has a different sin, and each one has a different punishment, described in great detail by Dante. It's kind of like a dank, stinky cellar. Things are rotting. It's very dark, and it's very creepy. You really can't see where you're going. It's getting smaller and smaller and deeper and deeper. There's not a lot of light seeping down from the top. The only thing you're going to see that shows up really well are things that are on fire. There's definitely a couple of those. Of course, you're fighting for your life the whole way down. If you're not fully prepared for it, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Fraud is composed of a series of arenas. Seriously, like a fight club. It'll be a real gauntlet. Gameplay-wise, it's a it's a real sort of test for the player. These almost combat puzzles. You've got to be thinking a little more strategically than you do in most arenas. Every creature that you faced, you're gonna face again here. You're attacked by tons of them at a time. It's like a high school reunion. Except you get to cut everyone's heads off. You're really going to be playing your play style at that point. It's where you get to use whatever upgrades you've chosen to buy. If you focus on the scythe, you're going to have lots of scythe combos. Uh, the holy side of the upgrade tree, you'll be rewarded with martyrdom. It sucks guys in and lifts them up in the air so you can jump up and wail on them. There's one challenge in particular at the end of Fraud that it basically throws everything in the kitchen sink at you. The designers have a little fun and really torture the player. You have a moment to kind of catch a breath, and then there's going to be a moment when basically all hell breaks loose. You're going to be just in complete panic mode. Fraud is sort of this capstone moment where things are going to get really hard. In my mind, fraud is the hardest level in the game. As you exit the circle of fraud, it goes from cold, dark stone to ice. It's not over yet. You've got to go down into treachery and defeat the final boss, Lucifer, in the very bottom, frozen in his own tears. 